the cold nights start approaching, it's natural for us to opt for thick and rich dishes like casseroles and stews and curries. But you know, thick dishes generally mean thick tummies, thick butts and thick thighs. So it's important for us to learn how to substitute for healthier ingredients. And just like we're going to do today with a healthy, nutritious, balanced, really quick curry. So you can get home from work and put something together within half an hour. And by making smart switches, you can turn any curry into a healthier one. Starting with using sweet potato instead of regular potato. Because sweet potato is high in soluble fiber, that makes it slower releasing so it keeps you fuller for longer. It's also a great source of potassium which is helpful for managing high blood pressure. We're also going to switch your regular white onion to a red onion because it contains a little bit less sugar. Onion is also fantastic for boosting one's immune system. It's fantastic as an anti-inflammatory and it's really good for detoxing. And then we use some skinless chicken because if you're watching your waistline and your heart, it's good to take off the skin because that's where the saturated fat is. And when you're managing your cholesterol levels, you can also include foods that contain plant sterols like Fluoroproactive, which is known to reduce your bad cholesterol, the LDL. A really important ingredient that you should try and add to as many meals as possible are cooked tomatoes, really high in lycopene, and that's really good for fighting cancer and boosting the immune system. The final and most fragrant ingredient is your masala. We've used an instant one here, but if you have the time, you can make your own using cumin, coriander, and cloves. But let's be honest, most of us don't have it, so the instant one will have to do today. Let's make this curry. And just with five ingredients, we're going to prove to you how quick and easy it can be to make at home. You couldn't get a more simple curry. All you need to do is add five mils of olive oil to a deep frying pan. You're going to add your onions and stir fry those until they're a little bit brown. Add your chicken breast to that. Add your tomatoes, add your masala. Leave this to simmer for 20 minutes. In another pot, you've actually got your sweet potato boiling with a little bit of lemon juice to prevent it from going brown. The minute that that's soft, you're going to drain it and add it to your curry. Well, that was quick and easy. Mmm, smells good. All we need to do is stir in the yogurt, just a natural yogurt. And we're using yogurt as a healthier alternative to coconut milk or ghee or oils and cream. Instead of dishing your curry with rice or naan bread or other starches, because there's already starch in the form of the sweet potato, rather than serve it with a selection of sambals, because those are highly nutritious, very low in fat, and they're not going to pack on the carbohydrates. By adding one or two teaspoons of flora proactive to your portion of hot curry, you'll make sure that you're getting closer to your quota of 25 grams of flora proactive per day. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.